Happy New Year's. I know this video is a few days late after New Year's, but Happy New Year's. You know, um, hopefully the audio is coming out good. It's a little bit windy today. I didn't think it would be windy today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but, you know, never can guess what the weather's going to do, especially down here in Florida. Anyways, today I plan to talk about my fears and concerns about the trail or leading up to the trail. Um, they're a little bit different this time around, especially since if you've watched my video in October, my feet were doing a lot better. Still concerned about them, but I still have some other concerns as well that I don't know if I addressed in last year's video. I can actually say last year this time. Um, that I will address in this video. I have three major concerns. I have some minors as well that I mentioned if I remember to. Um, my first concern and my major concern is if you can see her on frame right here, Raven, is I worry about her um, getting ticks and Lyme disease. And I've looked into different things, essential oils, collars, and she's all on a regiment um, tick controller but I'm still concerned about her getting it. From what I've heard and research, that's not a big concern until I get to some of the lower elevation states. So I'm hoping that does well, but we are taking every precaution with her. I have her on a Lyme disease shot, I forgot what it's called officially, but she is getting it updated before we leave in March. She's gonna get that, and she's gonna be in her month to month um, neck guard protection as well. I am looking into some essential oils that I talked to a friend yesterday. I forgot what it's called exactly, but it's called like lemon something or something like that. Um, if y'all know, y'all can post down below or if y'all know of any other things I can try um, that is natural or essential oils and stuff like that, just let me know. I just don't want to use the collars from all the collars I've researched that use natural, not natural oils, but um, oil-based solutions, and I might just be concerned for no reason. But from what I've researched is if I worry about her like drinking out of a pond or stuff like that, is the oils get into the pond and may affect an animal or something else downstream. But it may not work that way, I'm not sure. It's just what I've researched. It's why I don't use like a collar on her. So um, my second concern as my concern from last year, but it's not as bad as my feet. But my feet have, as I said in October, did better. But I'm always concerned for my feet. Um, they also may stop me from doing as many miles as I want to, but this year I'm not as concerned pushing as many miles. I'm as concerned as, I, as far as I can get, as long as I am safe and able to do it. But yeah, this is my second concern is my feet. As I said, they're doing better. Um, my third concern, um, which I probably should put in my second, is also to do with Miss Raven here. Is she is so bonded to me and has had problems of separation anxiety, not to the extremes um, like I've seen some other dogs before, but if I try to go like resupply in a store or anything like that. Um, if I'm out of her line of sight, she starts wanting, she starts being concerned and trying to find me, which I know is going to be a big problem. That I have tried to work with her before down here in Florida, which she's more comfortable with, and she's been to some of these stores before, and I just can't break her of that concern. If I can stay within her line of sight the whole store, she'll stay right where she's at. But if I break the line of sight for just a second, she's like up and trying to find me. I'm hoping I'm finding some people on the trail or if I can get someone, if I need to resupply, um, that would be awesome. If I understand, you know, I'm hiking at my own pace and other people are going at their own pace and they want to hike their own hike. So I'll work it out, you know, um, I'll find a way. I know the biggest way I'm probably going to solve it, at least as long as she's on the trail, is most of the places I'll be resupplying, which might be a little bit hard because of their hours, is post offices because most of my orders I have to pick up at the post office because she's on a certain dog food brand that I can only get at one store, which I'm not sure if that same store goes all the way up to Maine. The only stores I know about are in Florida for the dog food brand she is on. 
I may have to switch her on trail. I have done some look into other foods and I've had um, some people at my work talk about different foods that maybe we could switch her to, which also may have a higher protein so I don't have to supplement her with a beef jerky and ground beef all the time because that can get expensive as well. Um, that is my three major concerns. Some other minor ones is of course, you know, as I mentioned in my second one, if I don't make it a con, you know, it won't be, you know, as awesome if I made it. But at the same time, this year, as I said before, I am not truly concerned of getting to con fast as I can. If I get to it, awesome. I did it. I did the whole trail. But this time around, I'm more focused on the journey, meeting people, and, you know, if I want to hike 10 miles that day, awesome. If I want to hike 20 miles that day, that's awesome. If I want to stay at the hotel an extra night, you know, I want to hike my own hike and not be concerned of, I have to get here by a certain point. If I don't make it, you know, I gave it my best attempt. And then after this, you know, I'm going to go back to my work and start working there and then occasionally I do section hikes. I'm just doing it this time because I know I didn't give myself a fair enough chance last time to do enough of the trail that I can justify, hey, I gave it my best shot. So. That's one of my minor concerns tied in a little bit to my one of my major concerns. Um, another minor concern, I guess I should put as major, but um, is you know, if something were to happen back at home with some of my dogs or my parents or stuff like that, you know, having to make that choice of coming home if it's that bad or if I need to pause the hike, you know, that would you know hurt on the budget as well as you know, family is more important. But at the same time, it is frustrating maybe you're with a group of people that you like and stuff like that is another concern of mine, but you know, always family comes first. And my last minor concerns would be, of course, kind of all tied together now that I think about it, um, is, of course, if I'm going as slow as I do, or I might do, depending how I feel, is, you know, running out of running out of money, which I don't think I'll do, um, but you know, of course, you know, running out of financial money to do the whole trail, you know, it does suck, but as I said, I won't be over worried, but it still does suck, so, anyways guys, those are some of my concerns and fears um, about the Appalachian Trail, I probably have a few more that I didn't mention, um, if y'all have any comments or stuff like that, leave them down below. Hopefully y'all enjoy the video, and hopefully, hopefully the wind behind me wasn't too much, and hopefully the video came out good. Um, I had been watching a lot of the other hikers, watching them, commenting on them, and this look, class looked like it's going to be a pretty good class, and I'm hoping to meet a lot of y'all on the trail, and hopefully I won't make it farther than I did before. An awesome way to end the video when I had a limb just almost try to come attack me. Alright guys, see y'all down the trail.